The milling machine I found is an Excello 602 and it weighs in at just under 3,000 pounds. The seller was able to load it on the trailer for me. I lag bolted it directly to the deck and then I used some heavy duty winching straps to secure it down. My trusty chain fall and trusses would require disassembly of the machine so I decided that picking it up whole with the vehicle lift might be more appropriate. I used wood blocking and was barely able to get it just an inch or so off of the deck, just enough to squeeze the trailer out from under it. It's times like this that the help of a good friend is priceless. Excello's instructions for moving this say to use a sling around this point. Well, this lift I'm using can't lift that high, so I'm having to position it underneath and lift it with blocks of wood as not to damage anything. And it seems to work pretty well. I've got the forearms of the lift positioned, um, so they're all doing work, and I've got them tied so that they can't accidentally spread apart. I chose a small hardwood pallet and then reinforced it with some additional lumber inside and I made a bed of 2x12s on top for a nice rugged surface. I painted it just to make uh, clean up and wipe down a little easier and the milling machine will live on this pallet because otherwise I'd have no means of moving it around. One of the best things I did with my garage and organization is got on Craigslist and I bought a $50 pallet jack. And you can pick up free pallets in a lot of places. Really helps organizing your garage easy. Just like this, you can put heavy things on it and now this unit is mobile. So this pallet jack is tired and it needs a rebuild. It has some trouble holding pressure. This is a pretty heavy machine. So let's, uh, let's see what it can do here. Well, boy that's hard to move, but it moves. That's the pallet um, jack losing pressure. When I built my workshop, I put in a double door, and that's really proven itself priceless for moving machines and other things in and out. You can see here that I had to tilt the head to clear the door. So at this point, the final chore was just getting it over the threshold. I placed some blocking and scrap metal plates as little ramps for the wheels and then I simply walked it forward using some wooden planks as a lever and chalking the wheel after each progression so it couldn't roll backwards. Just went slow and steady and this system it really seemed to work well. So here we are, life is good, got a giant mill in my shop, what else could a person want? Everything seems to work well, I gave it a test drive, I trammed it and I've got it within um, five ten thousandths of an inch, which I feel is great. And everything seems fully operational. This VFD 
is absolutely fantastic. I'm really excited about um, programming it some more and I'm going to put a panel with some buttons for uh, forward, reverse, um, jog, and a couple other goodies up there as other people have done. Seems like a good idea. Check out my other videos for more information on the Accelo Mills and to follow along with me on some of my other projects. Thanks for watching.